Hi, this is Mario Romero with the Romero team at the Melcher Agency, and I'd like to thank you for visiting our website and our video blog. This series of videos is a way to introduce to the community small businesses and nonprofits you may not be aware of. Today, it is my pleasure to be speaking to Christy McClendon. 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 She's president and CEO of New Pathways for Youth. Yes. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here and introducing New Pathways to the community. We're very grateful for your time. Tell us about yourself, your background, the organization, its mission, and what it does. Okay. Well, if I may, I'd like to start with New Pathways and then share how my background weaves into that. Sure. Um, New Pathways has been around for over 26 years. We were founded by a group of volunteers who had experienced a personal development curriculum in their own life, and they wanted to expose youth that were living in at-risk situations um, to the possibility that that curriculum opens um, for a, a new future. And so our youth um, come from backgrounds of homelessness, delinquency, and very difficult home lives. And um, our program matches them one-on-one -on -one with a mentor, and they go through workshops that develop core life skills and create new possibilities where the youth can live into their best potential. And the mentor guides and coaches them through that. We look for a minimum of a year commitment from our mentors, but our real goal is that we've created a lifelong friendship that the mentor will serve as that continuous guide for our youth. It's almost like you having a favorite, when you're a child, having a favorite teacher. Does it be kind of even expanded on that? It is. So we bring in volunteers, put them through very thorough training to ensure that they're prepared to work with high-risk youth. And then we provide the coaching and the support and the case management to the youth and the mentor and the family that's engaged in our program. And that's why my how my background feeds in. I come from um, a very poor community in southern Kentucky, and I was raised primarily by my grandparents who had eighth grade educations. And they knew they wanted me to go to college, but didn't know how to get me to college. And it was really great mentors in my life that created um, that focus and that support and that guidance. So it's mm -hmm. really full circle, me being at New Pathways and helping bring volunteer mentors into the lives of kids to provide that positive adult and role model who can serve and help shape their goals um, and what they want possible in their own future. Now, you said it's been around for 20 some odd years. Where did it start? It started here in Phoenix, mm -hmm. um, in the greater Phoenix community, and we've been in our current location at 10th Street in Pierce in downtown Phoenix area since the late 90s. Wow. So who started the organization? I mean... It was a group of volunteers mm -hmm. um, that had, as I shared, experienced this uh, life-changing uh, retreat weekend in their own life as adults, and they worked collaboratively then to take that curriculum and make it applicable for um, youth that were in high-risk situations in urban uh, communities. Okay. And so New Pathways for Youth was originally founded as Greater Phoenix Youth at Risk um, in the late 80s. Wow. Well, what can... How can people help out? I mean, what can they do to help out the organization? Because it sounds like you do so much. I mean, I can identify having grown up in a small community on the west side, Tolleson. And that there we had more of the, you know, being a farming community out in the middle yeah. of nowhere and being, you know, working as a migrant farm worker. So to me, it was the arts, my pathway, you know, yeah. exposure to the arts. Because it was not really a high-risk community, but it was a different type of community. Yeah. So it's like, how do you go beyond where you're at? Mm -hmm. And you're serving the same purpose in the urban core in Phoenix. So how can our viewers help? Our greatest need is for mentors and volunteers that are willing to step up and serve a youth in a one-on-one -on -one relationship. Our program provides all of the core training that's needed, and we provide the ongoing support to those volunteers. But the greatest need is for a caring adult to come into the life of a youth and be committed to helping shape their future. How much time during the, how much time a month is we say on average it's anywhere between 8 to 10 hours a month. Mm -hmm. um, we ask that the mentor commit to seeing their youth once a month for the life skill workshop that we provide here at New Pathways, and then to see their youth in addition to that at least two times um, more during the month. Okay, great. Well, Christy, thank you very much for spending time with us and tell us about yourself and this wonderful organization. 
Can you tell us your address, mm -hmm. phone number, website? Yes. Your viewers can visit us at uh, npfy.org, stands for New Pathways for Youth.org, and we are located in downtown Phoenix at 10th Street and Pierce. The address is 1001 East Pierce Street, and that's Phoenix 85006. Um, and they can call the office at 602-258-1012. And I just want to thank you again for spending your time in helping like, highlight um, organizations like New Pathways and the work that we're doing in the community for kids. I'm very grateful. Thank you, Kristen. You're doing great work. So if you have any questions about this wonderful organization or anything about real estate, give me a call. 602-252-4191. See you next time and make it a great day.